Pride and Mencap, AGM 2021. What we did from April 2020 to March 2021. In April 2020, we started our new financial year with face-to-face -face services closed and lockdown rules that said we had to stay at home. Our staff, club members, carers and families worked together to keep in touch, stay active and have fun. When lockdown started, we sent activity packs to our club members so they could stay active and creative at home. Clubs at Leslie Park and the Saturday Club ran online sessions which included quizzes, singing, dancing, keep fit, games, book club and so much more. As soon as they could, staff started meeting members outdoors for one-to-one -one walks and outdoor activities. Whilst everyone was busy at home, Leslie Park got a whole new look. Members saw the new look on Zoom and then in person when they were able to come back into the centre in small groups, called Bubbles. Clubs at Leslie Park made craft, cooking, quiz and challenge videos to share on our YouTube channel. They also started their Don't Hold Me Back project. Monday Night Social Club members had telephone support and could book one-to-one -one outdoor sessions. We had plans to start small face-to-face -face sessions, but as there was another lockdown, we met on Zoom instead. Staff and members were very happy to see each other. Chill and Chat families also kept in touch on Zoom and sent us great photos of the fun they had with the activity pack. Eventually families were able to return to small face-to-face -face groups on Tuesdays and continued with online sessions on Fridays. Our Volunteering Buddies project started in lockdown so supported volunteers and buddies got to know each other on weekly Zooms. Earlier this year they were able to start meeting face-to-face -face on outdoor activities and trips. Some joined in with our new walking group Strictly Come Walking. Strictly Come Walking gave members a chance to meet up and walk in parks in and around Croydon. When lockdown stopped the group from meeting face to face, we started the walking challenge and sent members step counters and step count sheets. We met up in weekly Zoom meetings, talked about how many steps we had done and played Strictly Come Walking bingo. At the end of the challenge, all our steps were added together and we had done over one million steps. Our Carers Support and Welfare and Rights Services have supported adults with a learning disability and their carers throughout the pandemic. We started a weekly online social drop-in called Croydon Mencap Elevensies. It is a great way to keep in touch, get peer support and build friendships. Our other online events have included workshops and social events like our fun music quiz. That brings us to the end of the financial year, but we just wanted to add a few more things. In April, Parents in Partnership joined us to become PIP at Croydon Mencap. They continue to support Croydon parent carers of children and young people with any kind of disability and or additional needs, age 0 to 25. Later in April, Julie and Meg joined us to work with Pippa Croydon Mencap on our early positive approaches to support training courses. We will talk more about EPATS at our next AGM. In June, Strictly Come Walking ended and we had to say goodbye to Denisha. In October, we welcomed Emily and started our new walking groups and sports project, Healthy Lives. In September, Rona sadly left volunteering buddies and we welcomed Lamise as the new project coordinator. In July, Jade from Clubs at Leslie Park completed her Don't Hold Me Back project, Charity Skydive. 
In August, Jade had a huge surprise when she was given one big thank you from the One Show. If you missed it on TV, watch the clip on the BBC website. In October, Kat, our manager at clubs at Leslie Park, ran the London Marathon for Royal Men Cap and dedicated her run to the memory of Yvonne. Also in October, Jane, our parent participation officer, who joined us in April with the rest of Pip, sadly left Hoyden Mencap. And our final staff change. Alan is retiring soon after five years as our CEO and he will be missed. And next month, we look forward to welcoming our new CEO, Catherine. Finally, please get in touch with us if you would like some support or if you would like to join any of our activities or events.